In today's Angular tip, I want to show you required inputs which are new in Angular 16. So let's say we have a simple Angular application that just displays a welcome component. So this already looks nice, but it's not exactly what we want because we always want to display welcome plus the name. Therefore, the welcome component accepts the name as an input. But there is no guarantee that the user also passes this name as an input. So what we could do in the past is add a and probably a on init lifecycle hook and in this lifecycle hook we could check if the name is there if it's not then we would throw an error to the user basically at runtime but wouldn't it be nicer if we would get a compile time error so with angular 16 we can simply say this input is required true and then when we compile our application we get a compile time error which says required input name from component welcome component must be specified so this would tell our user that we need to specify a name, for example, Nivek, and then our application works again. Now to make TypeScript happy and not have to deal with the undefined case, we can also use the exclamation mark to tell it that this input is really required and it's there. Another thing that people sometimes do is aliasing. So how would you do that with the syntax? It's pretty straightforward. You just pass in alias and then you say this is now a first name input. And of course, we would get a compile time error because we now pass in a name, but it has to be first name. So let's fix that and change that to first name. And our application should run again. We've long waited for required inputs, but now it's finally there. So have fun using it.